Hey there everyone, once again we're at the Royal Society joined by Diana Cowan from the Physics Girl YouTube channel. It's the White Gloves of Destiny. I'm ready. You gotta close your eyes. Okay. And then we've got the old card catalogue here at the Royal Society and you're gonna randomly choose a drawer and a card and then we're gonna go down with Keith into the vaults and see what you get. Okay. So you gotta shut your eyes. Okay. All right. My eyes are closed. I wanna go this side because okay. it, seem, it feels like the end of the alphabet is luckier. And then I'm doing the lucky dip. Yes. You're using the yeah. terminology there. Okay. <laughs> top, top row there. Okay. Top row. All right. Uh huh. And what are you I'm feeling um, at the beginning, I think. Beginning? Yeah. Maybe mm, this one. All right. Let's have a look. We have an undated paper from 1868 by James Clerk Maxwell. Oh, Maxwell! Yeah! Yes! Report on a paper on the dispersion of optic axes in the... I mm, want to what know. In the wall, right. Let's get Keith in to write down the details so he can go and find it downstairs. Does this okay. look interesting? It's a referee's report. So this is James Clark Maxwell reporting on someone else's paper. Oh, I, I see. We would like you to do a second draw. Okay. Just in case that one's no good. So I'm feeling good about it, but okay, uh, yeah. A second one just in case. All right. Okay. Mm. Stick into this side yeah. of the alphabet. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe this one. That drawer? Okay. Yeah. Open it up. Is there anything in it? Yep, yep. Where are okay. we going in there? Right there. All right. Francesco Stellati, 1663. Wow. Done. An account of lignum fossil mineral. Okay. Printed at Rome in 1637. I like rocks. All that matters is, is there pictures? Probably not. Oh. That's how I will judge your success, Diana. Yeah, if there's pictures. It does feel like a set of a movie a little bit. We're going into the vaults. Okay, so we're looking for a referee's report. Volume six, we go that way. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, you have to move those over to get these ones? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're pretty heavy. So here we are, referee's report at the end. Now, do you have to pull things out for people typically, or do they get to come here? Yeah, no, we uh, we only let very special people down into the archives. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we normally uh, just retrieve things and present them in the reading room. Okay. Ooh, report, excellent. Volume Should six, I, there we go. I can I grab this? You can. A whole book of referees reports. Mm. How thrilling. <laughs> The next one is a classified paper, so that's very early material. So oh, these cool are book. the classified papers, and you've selected one which is in a volume on Ooh. mineralogy and magnetics. Ooh, that sounds posh. All right. Okay then, so we've pulled the books that Diana got with the white gloves. Let's start with this referee's report from Maxwell. Okay, so this is uh, volumes worth of referee's this is, reports. This is a moment of truth. So this is just a referee's report after referee's report for various papers that have come into the Royal Society over this period. And we're looking for one in particular. It's 99. 100. Ooh. It's quite lengthy. Yep, signed at the James end. James Clark Maxwell. Maxwell. There we go. There's his signature. Let's not bother reading the rest then, eh? <laughs> Diana, this is where you get to find out yeah. about Keith's superpower, which is reading old handwriting. Oh, so can Keith? I try? Yes, do, yeah. <laughs> Please. Uh, hey, Brady's ahead. terrible. Okay. On account of my ignorance of um, crystallography and of the recent research in the... <laughs> I think I'm making up some of these words. I think you're doing quite well, actually. Uh, I, th I think you're up for a job in the wrong side of your library. <laughs> well, this is kind of like my mom's handwriting, so... <laughs> James Clark Maxwell wrote like your mom. I feel like some of these words are not words that I would typically use. Yeah. Recent researches in the optical properties of crystals. I'm not able to judge of the originality of this paper oh. and can only form a rough estimate of its merit. So he says it's not okay. really his field, Got it. but he's going to have a go anyway. <laughs> okay. Typical scientist. If the crystallography, crystallographic axis... Oh, this is You've, you've almost got the job here, to be <gasps> honest. Yeah, that, this is very, very <sighs> good. I'm this sweating. Is, this is YouTube gold watching someone try to read, yeah. <laughs> read a report in difficult to read handwriting written by someone who's not an expert on the topic. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Yeah. yeah. After this was written, after this referee's report came in from Maxwell, was the paper published by the Royal Society? It was. Yes, right. it was. Mm. It got through. Okay. We have it here. Let's, Let's take a look, shall we? Let's have a look at the paper in question that Maxwell himself is commenting on. See if it's a good one. Oh, there's mm. some... That would have been a that good one. Very yeah, good, but no, you got uh. this one, I'm afraid. So this is the paper? 
I believe it is. New research is upon the dispersion of the optic axes, and I don't know what those are. Harmatome. Harmatome. Woolerite. So these are minerals. Woolerite. Yeah. I've, I've heard things about Proving Woolerite. these minerals to belong to uh, the system. Presumably, this involves shining light into these crystals and looking yeah. at the dispersion to figure out what kind of crystals they right. have. Right. This is a very, very specific thing we're looking at here. It's very technical. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> look at that. You've pulled it from the fire. Yes. This is nice. Ooh. If we get pictures, I'm happy. <laughs> this is lovely. All this right. is pretty cool looking. Look at that beauty. So this is obviously figuring out the crystal structure from the light that was dispersed. Good get. Thank you. Nice pictures. Somehow I feel like I've accomplished something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, can, we can get it printed on a t-shirt for you maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear this. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should take a picture of it. Yeah. What an unusual thing to have a photo of. My camera's full of pictures of documents from the Royal Society. <laughs> <laughs> you did pull a provisional as well. I, I, did. Th I think I you've did. succeceded. You're a winner. Mm -hmm. But should we look at what your second one was? I mean we can't not because I'm really curious. Okay. Right. So this is a classified paper. So this is very much a, an earlier document. Let's take a look at this. Right, this is the really old one. Yeah. Uh, Italian. It's a translation, isn't it? Obviously some science has been done by an Italian and someone with connections to the Royal Society has thought this is so good it should be translated. Yeah. So this is paper 13. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. This is a translation. <laughs> oh, no, you got no chance. Of I don't know. <laughs> Subterraneous fossil wood was first discovered by Don Federico something Prince of San Angelo. So it's about wood fossils. Which is kind of cool, that, like petrified wood or something? Yeah, that'd yeah. be right, yeah. This is confusing, like what is he saying? I don't know, there's no pictures. <laughs> <laughs> He's speculating on the nature of this fossil. What, did it, yeah, what yeah, does yeah. it most resemble in the modern oh, world? So, wow, okay, right, it's not a lot of chemistry at that point. So is it a metal, is it a plant, mm. is it, like there's still a question of what a fossil is. Yeah, I'm excited, but then I quite like fossils. Look, it shows you should have quit while you're ahead. I <laughs> sure. But uh, <laughs> I still think the gloves have served you well, so uh, well done. Thank you very much. You can keep them if you like, souvenir. Uh, oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. these holy gloves. Wash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> these are going to come in handy. Uh. Oh. <laughs> you two are separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay to be wrong yeah. when, when the answers are not in the back of the book. Mm. Here we see the book and there are no answers in the back of the book. You have to mm. figure it out yourself. And this is one of the delightful aspects of being in a frontier. It's a place where your normal intuition does not apply. It's a place that's rich in discovery and the answers are not in the back of the book. This is the first time we've had an astronaut, a man who has spent 370 days of his life in space. Could we possibly have had two better choices? I, I, it's extraordinary. He couldn't have picked better. And I did it with my eyes closed. Yeah. yeah. Out of this world. <laughs> and I did it with my eyes closed. You show off. 